I recall this video is uh, 8.39 p.m. Chicago time, Sunday, 15th of July, 2012. It's Monday morning here in uh, Sydney, Australia. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, sorry this video is kind of getting out late. We had a couple of youngsters staying with us, a uh, five-year-old and a seven-year-old. So uh, there was not a lot of chart reading or videos being made this weekend. Anyway, so Friday, uh, kind of explosive up day. Uh, we had this kind of bit of a long-legged doji pattern where we'd fallen out of this congestion zone on the Thursday. And and no, we're kind of back into the congestion zone. White bar here closing in this kind of congestion apex kind of being made here. Uh, I don't think it's all kind of positive. Let me just show you. I said on Thursday's video that, you know, just bear in mind we had a bullish divergence signal on better trend. We were also overextended on the trend oscillator. And so with Friday's activity, we turned uh, the trend oscillator. And so this short position kind of reverse went long. It's actually a break even trade here. Uh, and so we got a little bit of a kind of a sequence kind of going forward. You know, Tuesday we've got Ben Bernanke talking in front of the Senate, uh, so that's going to be very important. Now, this isn't, I don't believe, the beginning of a big kind of breakaway up move. All I think we're doing is in this kind of complex correction on the way back up. We're just kind of heading back up. And the reason I say that is the adjusted trend value on Friday was only 60, positive 60. When we have kind of big breakaway moves, this one's a perfect kind of case in point. So we had this low being made and then you know, all of a sudden the market kind of turns around, bang, we have a big up day, whoops, a big up day uh, here that you can see on this activity. The trend value for this day was about, let me just pull this up, the reading there was about 141 uh, on the adjusted trend value. That shows, you know, an extreme amount of buying, a lot of people kind of getting long, needing to get long, kind of reversing positions, and we have a nice little follow through rally on the way here. So that value is about 140. Once we found a bottom, we kind of uh, heading the other way. To a Friday's value was only 60. Okay, so what that shows is within that, you know, supposedly pretty explosive up day was quite a lot of selling, quite a lot of weakness. So just bear that in mind that, yeah, this could travel uh, for a few days, but it's not uh, a similar pattern to this where we have a, you know, a fairly sizable move after that bottom being made. This could be a quite a weak retracement. So just bear that in mind. In terms of volume, 1.5 million contracts traded and so on. Um, better X trend. Better X trend has been following this kind of trend uh, up. You know, we had that kind of false data uh, kind of read with the July 4th numbers. Trade Station kind of corrected those numbers, and now we got the uh, better X trend kind of uh, following up here, which means we've got a line in the sand here at this point. So uh, at 13.20, uh, that kind of line in the sand. So just looking for you know, a few days of strength, and if we come back down under that 13.20 kind of level, then we'll, we'll have finished this kind of complex correction on the way up. I'm just saying, if you look at this pattern, you know, put uh, kind of rising and falling trend lines here. For me, this just looks like a complex correction where we're not really breaking the support and resistance level by very much each time on the way up. Uh, the big move, big trending move was this. This is a complex correction on the way up. As soon as this pattern's kind of exhausted itself, higher probability that we'll kind of resume that kind of stronger downtrend on the way down. And I suppose we did get this bounce because on the uh, financials, we had a whole bunch of end of trends being made on the daily charts. So this is uh, JP Morgan. So you you know, the news coming out on Friday that the loss was, well, I don't know, uh, not as big as, big as people were expecting, or you know, it, it was you know an end is in sight. So at 4.4 or 5 billion or whatever the loss was, pull back to end of trend being made on the daily chart, and bang, we get that uh, kind of uh, pop on Friday, having had exhaustion selling, bullish divergence, and then kind of testing down with the amateur bars down here was support on the weekly chart, but you know we've not seen bullish divergence yet. So I think we'll just have a little bit of a rally and then kind of come back down. So I mean, this is the kind of pattern we'll be seeing at trend changes. We need to see a divergence pattern after. You know, with the financials, we had this huge kind of runaway move at the uh, beginning of the year. We had all of those kind of testing amateur down bars into Christmas time, and then we kind of had these big runaway moves. We've, we've retraced all the way back. And so uh, for a proper trend change in trend, need to be seeing a bullish divergence pattern there. But but just show you this on a couple of different uh, financials. So we look at uh, Goldman Sachs, same thing, you know, pullback to end of trend being made on daily charts, a little bit of a Rambo to amateur down bar here, sequence being made, and bang, we kind of rush away. Pull back to dirty end of trend on the weekly chart, having seen exhaustion selling bullish divergence. You know, Rambo patterns kind of testing here. So, you know, maybe on the financials it might be a little bit stronger. Uh, Citibank as well. 
same thing. Pull back to end of trend. Friday's activity, we'd actually the end of trend been made a few days earlier. Exhaustion selling, bullish divergence, amateur down bars here with blue professional bars kind of coming in at the lows and racing away. So, yeah, we, we, the financials could see a little bit of a bottom being made here at the, uh, for the time being, kind of racing away. But my overall view of the market has not kind of changed. And I'll roll through the commitment of traders to show you why. Um, better sign wave, yeah, just to show you this. So this move up, is it a little bit early in terms of the daily chart and finding that support level kind of coming down here? You know, it could be late in terms. Better sign wave tends to be a little bit early. So... Yeah, not sure. Jury's out for me on that one. But let me just roll through the commitment of traders and just show you why. I just don't think on on the longer term, you know, we've we've had real topping out patterns on the risk on charts and bottoming out on the risk on. So, you know, I, th I think this is just you know part of the volatility that we get as a, a part of a trend change. So you know, this whole sequence on uh, the weekly chart uh, commitment of traders on the indices. Uh, this is the SB, the large contract, where uh, bang, you got all those bearish divergences patterns kind of setting up those tops and we've not seen kind of a bullish divergence type pattern on commitment of traders here on the weekly charts. This is crude, you know, the last signal on the weekly chart here was bearish divergence on crude commitment of trades kind of coming down here. Doesn't look like a uh, bullish divergence kind of pattern setting up here either. Here's copper on the weekly chart. There's not been any signals on copper on the weekly chart, but on the monthly chart I'll show you that shortly. But again, you know, it's not like it's a bullish divergence patterns kind of setting up here or anything like that. Uh, here's euro. So euro here, you know, we're making uh, deeper patterns in terms of the commitment of traders, and it's not setting up for a bullish divergence, I would suggest. Yet in the last signal that we had uh, was kind of bearish divergence here, and you can see the way you know bearish divergence pattern kind of sets up. You see some kind of move in terms of the way the commitment of traders change uh, their positioning and then you get follow through kind of after you had the pattern kind of being made so you know for me that's not kind of starting to reverse and go the other way here's copper on the monthly chart instead of the weekly chart where you can see the top was made there with that kind of bearish divergence pattern bullish divergence not being made so on these uh, higher time frame uh, commitment of traders type charts uh, we're not seeing this kind of move down so this is silver bearish divergence kind of going on here uh, we've got Aussie dollar, uh, monthly chart, daily charts not, not showing um, a pattern as clearly as this, but there's that bearish divergence kind of coming in here. You know, Aussie dollar is a little bit stronger, Canadian dollar is a little bit stronger than the other currencies like the euro currencies, but it's not kind of showing bullish divergence here. British pound, last time we had signals it was bearish divergence signals. We're not not really seeing kind of bullish divergence patterns with you know the commitment of traders readings over the last, but possibly. Yeah, you know, we'll see in a couple of weeks' time, but certainly not uh, not convincing there on the pound. Uh, and then lastly, on the risk off charts, so you know the dollar index, uh, we've got all these bullish divergence signals in the background, and it's not like we're seeing bearish divergence patterns. You know, these are kind of high readings; they're not kind of lower readings, showing bearish divergence on dollar index. And you know, we had the last signal here was was a poor uh, bearish divergence signal because we've just powered through. Uh, on the 30 year in terms of the uh, commitment of traders and the professionals uh, positioning here. Um, five year, yes, I would suggest that is a bearish diversion. So five year kind of maybe coming off. Uh, Ten year, you know, it's kind of following through a little bit there. Last signals were bearish divergence, not so not convincing there. Anyway, so what I'm trying to show you there with the commitment of traders numbers, it's not as if we're seeing a whole bunch on the risk on charts of bullish divergence patterns kind of popping up. They're, they're still kind of bearish divergence uh, signals. So in these longer time frame charts, I really think, you know, we've we've hit a, a major kind of um, top in the market. We're just working our way down. And I think we're in a complex correction on the way up uh, until we kind of run out of the juice and then kind of head back down again. In terms of the long term charts, 40,500 tip bar chart. So, you know, the activity was exhaustions uh, buying with bearish divergence rolling over. Friday's activity ended up with exhaustion buying on the way down. We haven't had exhaustion selling on the way down. So, I you know, I just think that professionals are using these kind of moves up, you know, kind of almost, you know, Friday's activity where we kind of just got going straight away out of the gate was like just short covering rally. We were, we were popping stops the whole way up. Uh, on the way here, and so they're just using that opportunity to get everybody kind of, um, you know, kind of reversing their positions, getting them out of their short positions, and but we've not seen exhaustion selling on the way down. On these time frames, the 30,500, yeah, we're in an uptrend here on 13,500 now. So we've got to see pullback to end of trend. Uh, same thing probably on the, the 40,500. You know, we might have to, this might run for a few days until we see that pullback to end of trend. 
uh, and the 4,500 is kind of funny little pattern here. But you know, once the market's kind of had a real strong day like uh, Friday, you know, it's not gonna, it's just gonna continue to um, kind of make a jagged kind of top like this. It's not gonna reverse and go the other way. Uh, for me, Friday, you know, it was one of those extraordinary kind of days where it just kind of set off on, on the upside, and I just got in long because on the uh, 1500 tip bar chart we had support kind of being made here. On the 500 tip bar chart, we broke resistance into an uptrend here that just went and went uh, for the first, you know, um, 20, 30 minutes of the day. Uh, here, I just kind of jumped on board first thing at 34.25. As soon as we had this break and kind of settled down a little bit here. And I was out uh, after four points at 38.25 uh, with these pro signal accidents, these blue professional bars in, you know, like record time, five minutes or something in this trade. It just kind of kept on uh, going through. Now, you know, obviously the thing just went and went all day. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of, you know, pretty, I don't know, you know, I should have been pushing my stops out. But I just wondered if if this was just an explosive move and then we were just going to reverse because on the, uh, the 40,500 tip bar chart, here we were coming up to this turning point after the uh, open. I was thinking maybe this was just a pop and drop here into 40, and we kind of turn around and go the other way. But it didn't. It just kept on kept on going through there. So, um, but you know, one shot, one kill, four points in kind of record time. So, who's to complain? We're back in the zone here. Let's see. You know, if this kind of uh, continues uh, for very much longer. I think Tuesdays. Ben Bernanke testimony is going to be pretty key, but just watch out because on that adjusted trend value, you know, this was a uh, a pretty weak reading. Uh, let me just pull you up again. So this adjusted trend really was only 60. You know, if this thing was 120, 140 or something like that, it would show everybody needs to get on board this move and it's going to continue to travel similar to something like that. But we didn't get that. It was only 60. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, uh, enjoy your weekend. Looking forward to Monday's trade. And 34 and a quarter. Long 34 and a quarter. And check my stops and targets. Reason for getting long. Uh, five and trip part chart, we just kind of raced away, broke above uh, resistance here into a little bit of an uptrend. We've got exhaustion uh, kind of buying here, kind of getting this move going. Not really, I should be waiting for a pullback to 33, basically kind of bouncing off the trend line, uh, resistance becomes support, but didn't want to pull back, another blue fresh mile kind of coming in here, so you got 7,000s, quite a lot of buying kind of going on, so uh, 1,500 tip bar chart, we kind of, uh, over um, the last hour or so, come back down, found support, blue fresh bars kind of coming at the low, so now we're heading up, so that's good, 35s. So let's see, I think at some point this will play in the uh, cyclical uh, resistance on the 40,500 tip-bar chart cable loop fractional bar just coming on 45. So let's see, it could be just a, like a pop and drop, uh, kind of underneath 37s, but uh, let's keep holding, see where it goes. Later. Bearish divergence coming on 500 tip bar chart, blue professional up bar on 1500 with exhaustion buying, so pro signal exit. So, uh, let's wait and see pullback to end of trend on the 500 tip bar chart. We are above uh, resistance on 45. So, I don't know. Might go a little higher, so let's keep holding on, see uh, see where this goes. Excellent, well, this is going up 36s, targets at 38.25. Uh, it's getting pretty overextended here in terms of buying. Could be a real. Uh, <coughs> Rambo patterns up here at the highs, so kind of buying the breakouts, but uh, we've still got to have pullback to end of trend on the 500 tip bar chart. So, um, yeah, maybe this is a serious kind of breakaway move for we've got resistance coming on 1500 tip bar chart, another blue fraction bar at the highs here. So, let's hope for uh, a final kind of, uh, here we go, 37. So uh, previous high up here was uh, 36.75, so we're just running stops around here. So 38.25 is the target, it's not far now. Just taken out, 38.25, unbelievable. 8.39 a.m. <laughs> anyway, uh, this thing just went epileptic. Uh, all kinds of uh, extreme readings here. 
Source Jim buying uh, 23,000 on better momentum here on the 4500 tip-by chart. It's 9,000 here, all these blue professional bars. Yeah, it's just going uh, exponential. <laughs> Look at this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> 14,000 on better momentum. Holy hell. So, uh, well, one shot, one kill. Long 34.25, out 38.25. Well, some days it's really easy. Some days it's not. Um, right, what do we got? Consumer sentiment at 8.55. Um, I'm done trading. I'm not going to take any trades off that. But uh, in, uh, was that 10 minutes time? 15 minutes time. Um, might be quite interesting with this exhaustion buying signal. So if we put in kind of bearish divergence, you know, um, but look at all these blue professional bars on the 4500 tip bar chart. Just really conscious of this kind of turning point. I suppose we've got to put in pullback to end of trend now on 45. But, um, well, it's not preempted. But uh, that's a lot of professional activity there. A lot of blow off volume. Alright.